Hey what's up guys, Drewal here with another video and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create this abstract effect. I don't know what to call it but it looks cool. So let's get started. So in order to create this effect I'm going to use the image of this model, uh, this paper texture and set of this selected brushes that I downloaded from brushes I guess. So I'm gonna use all these things and if you want to download any of this for practice the download link is in the description so feel free to use that. So first of all here's the model image and I think I will start with the selection because we need to cut her from the background. So usually pen tool would be much better but for the tutorial and time sake I'm using quick selection tool. So once the selection is done apply a layer mask so it, uh, it will hide all the background data and after that you have to duplicate this layer so name this a uh, base layer and then name it background so I'm just gonna rename it and after that right click here and delete the layer mask and shut this layer for a while now what you have to do is you have to control click on this mask so we can have the selection back and after that what to do is you press shift backspace and you select content aware where it is here and then you press ok it will take a while but it will remove her from the background and you will have a neat background so as you can see here it has done pretty good job and to take care of this little little things you can do is select your clone tool and do it manually it won't hurt just take your time and remove it properly so I'm just gonna remove it from some parts here as you can see this looks pretty good so we have separated her from the background so now all you have to do is duplicate this layer and rename this layer as I don't know maybe design or anything whatever you wanna name so this is going to be a design layer and now right click here and select apply layer mask so as you can see here we have cut her from the background and without mask now what you do is you select her and press ctrl T and then you hold your alt key and then you stretch her from the side and for temporary basis she is gonna look really bad but don't worry about it so now press enter and now go to filter blur and select Gaussian blur and then apply enough blur so that we can get rid of the basic details and hit ok and now put this layer below your base layer so it is in the middle and shut it down for a while. Now select a mask of your base layer and make sure you have selected a soft round brush and then make sure it's a black color and paint in the area where you want the design. So it will hide it temporary and uh, don't worry about it. So I'm gonna paint it here something like this and after that all you have to do is turn on your design layer and then apply a layer mask and then hide hold the data so for that just press alter backspace while you have black as a foreground color so press alter backspace so everything is hidden temporary and now I'm gonna select my abstract brush from here and then I'm gonna click on this here this little option so it allows you to rotate the stuff and brush and all so I'm gonna make it a little bit yeah that looks fine so now select your mask and make sure you have white color because we have to reveal some parts now so now I'm gonna click here something like this so as you can see it starts to create those beautiful waves I'm gonna fast forward this video so you can see how much time it takes So as you can see the effect looks good. I did not do everything in detail. I just repeated the same brush but you should just take your time and the key is keep changing the brush and keep changing the angle. Like if you are do, uh, doing the left side make sure the brush is angle on this way. If you do it something like this and then you click it will not look that great. So make sure that the whenever you are clicking the brush is in the right angle. After that as you can see the area looks a bit of empty in some middle parts like there is not enough details. 
so what you can do for that is create a layer between these two so you create a new layer and then uh, select your brush make sure you selected any of the abstract brush and then you select any of this blue color and then you paint like randomly and then again let's turn on these options and start painting in different different areas this time you can make it even bigger you don't have to worry about it because it's a solid color and it's gonna work really nice so I'm just gonna leave it here after just few clicks so that looks fine so this way you can create all of your abstract thingy and you can do the same thing with the hands all you have to do is just first erase from the base layer so I'm just gonna select any of my round brush actually not even round brush let's start with directly with the abstract brush so I'm just gonna uh, select my black color and hide it first from the my base layer so I'm just gonna click here so that looks cool and now select your design layer and then paint with the white color so you can reveal stuff like this see that looks really cool so I'm again gonna click here and then I'm gonna click here with white color so you can have those beautiful waves so this way I created the shape of my layers and as you can see by if you keep patience and do it properly it's gonna look good now let's do the color correction part so, part, so create a new layer and select vibrance I'm gonna add some of the vibrance so we can have that color back so now let's add the paper texture so I'm just gonna go here and select my move tool and then I'm gonna bring this paper texture here and now scale it just the way you want don't worry about it since it's a texture the proportion doesn't matter that much so that looks great now go to image adjustment and select desaturate so we can make it black and white and then again go to image adjustment and levels and then make it darker by the mid tones so we can have all those details back so that looks really great and after that change the blend mode to soft light and then apply a layer mask grab your brush and make sure you have a soft round brush and then uh, paint with the black color so we can remove the texture from her skin and dress if you want on the dress you can keep it a little bit but don't keep it on the skin because that's not gonna look really good so that looks fine and now the final touch go to your adjustment layers and select gradient map and in the gradient map uh, click on this little icon and select photographic tonings and once you do that you will have all these cool options and select blue one since her dress is blue so I wanna give her overall blue feeling so select this and change the blend mode to soft light and then decrease the opacity if you want if you think it's too strong so that looks fine so this way you can create really awesome abstract effects in Photoshop and if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments and if you like the video give it a thumbs up that helps a lot you can also subscribe for the future updates and also check out this really other awesome tutorials so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with Photoshop